The creators behind Ballerina Farm, Hannah and her husband, Daniel Nealman, are receiving backlash again. Last week, we talked about Hannah and Daniel receiving backlash for the GoFundMe account that was set up for her father. Daniel sharing pictures of her deceased father on Instagram and using this as content. And some people thought they were leveraging her father's funeral in order to make money. They were asking viewers to buy expensive, very expensive flowers. They actually said, in lieu of flowers, send more flowers. Some of these arrangements were four, five, six, and even up to $800. And Daniel admitted that a lot of the arrangements at the funeral were ordered by people who had never even met Hannah's dad. Hannah also posted this to her YouTube channel. Ballerina Farms invites you to the live services of Hannah's father, Chad Wright, Saturday, February 3rd at 11 a.m. This live stream did receive a lot of views and it was up for days. Social Blade says on February 3rd, Hannah's channel received over 400,000 views. On February 4th, her channel received over 300,000 views and less than 24 hours after posting the live stream of her father's funeral, she got 10,000 new subscribers on YouTube. This man's funeral was used as content. If you click this link now, the video is private. They received a lot of backlash for this as well. And I would only assume that's why they made this video private. Daniel posted an Instagram reel of his children, immediately got comments he didn't like, backlash, and he deleted this reel almost immediately. Although Daniel deleted the Instagram reel, he also shared some of this content in his stories, which he did not delete. Daniel and Hannah had a baby in December, December of 2023. In the video I'm about to show you, the baby's head and neck are not being supported. I'm pretty sure that's Hannah standing there. Yeah, that's Hannah. And this little girl's father is filming her holding this newborn. The way I gasped when I saw one of the little ones swaying the baby without supporting the neck. And he's just filming away without guiding the little one to support the neck so it's not flopping around. Holy crap, that baby's neck is flopping. That stresses me out. They've had so many kids that I feel like the mentality they have is like, eh, we've pulled risky shit before and nothing's happened. Why not risk internally decapitating the newborn too? Horrified. I had to do a case study during my anatomy classes on this happening to an infant. I feel sick. I hope they take their children's safety more seriously. Not to mention the baby is being held with her head in the perfect position to cut off the airway. That thing is like a plastic straw. OMG, that baby's neck. And what's worse is you know he saw it because number one, he took the picture and number two, thought it was okay to pose. What the F? She's not a toy. This is not cute to me. That poor baby with zero support, inches from completely being dropped. Yikes, the baby's neck. This is absolutely irresponsible of the parents. Why can't they teach her to hold the baby properly? He originally posted this as a reel and had five comments in two minutes bashing it so he deleted it. Hannah showed her young daughter holding the baby at the pageant and I couldn't help myself and responded that was dumb and dangerous and I got blocked. Next thing I knew she had deleted her story with it. I wish they would just be real humans for a second and comment on these controversial topics. Unsupported neck and head being held by a preschooler while sitting on the edge of a wooden table over wood floors, kissing the baby on the mouth repeatedly. This is some kind of emergency room bingo card winner. This is making me so angry, and Hannah is right there completely ignoring this. Yeah, Hannah is standing just a few feet away. There's nothing in her hand. She appears to be eating something, just standing there eating something. Hannah and Daniel both use their kids in a lot of their content. These kids are a big part of this platform. And here, Hannah is showing off her dance moves while her kids are in the bathtub. Why not just move the camera to a different angle 
and you don't have to film your kids in the bathtub and you can do your little dance moves with something else behind you besides your kids playing in the bathtub. Filming your kids in the bathroom, in the bathtub, even brushing their teeth. Who wants to be filmed while they're taking a bath or brushing their teeth? The bathroom is such a personal, private spot in your home. It should be off limits when it comes to filming your kids. Kids deserve privacy and they deserve to be able to, number one, take a bath in privacy. But number two, they don't even have their parents' full attention here because their mom is so worried about filming a TikTok. She's just so worried about filming her dancing moves. She's not even like being with them in this moment. She's focused on content. So many content creators are like this. They are physically in the home, but mentally they're somewhere else. They're always focused on content. They always have the camera up. They're always trying to film something. People are leaving comments saying Hannah looks exhausted on her most recent TikTok. Someone said, I know those eyes so well, sending you love and comfort. Another person said, it's 420 at the farmhouse. This is the comment I was looking for. Oh, it's not shade. Whatever gets the mama through. Good evening. Charles and I are making dinner. What do we make? Do I really make everything from scratch for every meal every day? And the answer is no, I don't. Like I, I, you can kind of see how often I post those reels, which is maybe every two weeks. And that's really the only time that I put all the components into one meal and have it a cohesive meal because it does take a good amount of time. Hannah also used this incident as content. An aggressive rooster attacked her child. I can't tell if Hannah has her arm out and she's filming or taking a picture or if someone else is taking this picture. I don't think it matters who's taking the picture. The fact of the matter is they posted it on social media. They used it for engagement, for content. This poor kid, this bloody image shouldn't be used as content on social media. Hannah writes, Rooster attacked our one-year-old yesterday as she crawled about the farm. By the time we broke up the melee, my poor child was a bloody mess with scratches all over her head and back. Rooster, though a good protector of his hens, had already exhibited aggressive behavior towards humans. He tried to attack Daniel once, who promptly dropped kicked him halfway across the farm, ending the conflict. This is our farm. We don't tolerate such behavior from our animals. Therefore, while Daniel was in town yesterday, I made rooster noodle soup. Hannah also shares another video of a different child being attacked. <gasps> what do you think about Daniel dirty deleting his Instagram reel? Dirty deleting is deleting your content after receiving any type of pushback. And what do you think about Daniel and Hannah using their kids for content, posting bloody images online to get clicks, views, and engagement? What do you think about all the backlash Hannah and Daniel constantly receive on social media? And sometimes after receiving this backlash, they immediately delete their content, which leads me to believe that they don't want the backlash, so they just want to get rid of the content as fast as possible, or they realize the backlash they received is valid and they know they shouldn't have done what they did, so they just pull the content down. Go check out this video next on Ballerina Farm. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines today. I'll talk to you soon in the next video.